Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am working on the challenge. The Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group has a monthly challenge and this month there seems to be a lot of change of season going on around the world so I chose to suggest that this month we did four seasons. <laughs> now that um, it's four seasons in one series or one pour and today I'm gonna be doing autumn I don't know why we're in spring in New Zealand um, but the oranges and the golds and green were just yelling out at me so that is what I'm choosing that's what I'm creating and um, what I, <laughs> I don't know, um, I just get a sense that I need to do some prepping on the background first. Um, I'm, I don't, I don't understand what's going on in my head, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do, um, I've got some Parisian blue and some grass green um, and some white. So this is this is my prep. This is not acrylic pouring. So if you want to skip through this and go into some other part of the video where I am doing pouring, please do. Um, I just I want to do something slightly different today. So, well, it's still got, there's going to be a pour in the video. I promise there will be a pour in the video. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Um, basically, what I'm wanting to do here is um, just just going to put a little bit of blue in the bottom of this tin and. I'm just going to cover some of it with the blue. Now this is a MDF circle that I cut myself. If you want to know how I cut the circle, um, go check out my circle router or jigsaw jig um, in my other channel, DIY Give It A Try. Uh, if you want to know how I gessoed it, check a previous video. I'm not quite sure what number it is, but it's it's in my channel somewhere. Um, I don't know why I did that, but I did. Anyway, then I'm going to just grab a little bit of green and start at the bottom. Still got the blue in the brush, so there's going to be a little bit of texturing with the blue. Um, not really much though, by the looks of this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I really don't. So this is I'm just following my the energy, following my awareness. Um, it's something that I love to do and highly recommend that you do if you would like to play i'm just giving it some texture i know it's not poured and i know blah 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 whatever <laughs> i'm rambling um this is just a reasonably stiff um hog bristle brush eh. number two dash seven five two number two Number two, number five is alive. Nope, this is number two. Um, just, I just, I just, I just, I just feel like the tree that I'm going to be painting on this needed a bit of background. That's what I'm doing. Just giving it a bit of black background. Um, and then I'm going to grab some white and put it into that little tin 
that I had. What can I use to put it in there? A white stick. That's what I'll use. Yay! Uh, can you see the tin? Yes, you can. So I'm just going to pour some white in there and get my rinsed out but still slightly wet, still slightly bluey green. And just, oh, it sounds like my husband home. Yay! Just give it a little bit more of a kind of a wispy, cloudy, light blue thing going on. <laughs> just giving it a thing. A little thing called love, love, love. Now, who knows? I might put so much paint on it, this will be completely obliterated. Who knows, really? Who cares, really? This will be happy when I finish. There we go. It's giving it some swirly gigs. Giving it a little cloudy feel. Woohoo! so I can see all the edges. I'm glad I did. I know I needed to. Followed the awareness. You get a hit to do something, guys. It like, feels light and expansive and joyful. Please do it. Have you ever looked up in the sky and gone, goodness, you know, if I painted a cloud like that, people would say it was just too artificial and too brushstrokey. I do that all the time. I know. I'm always so judgmental about what my clouds should look like when I'm painting with a brush. And then I look up in the sky and the universe goes, See? Look. <laughs> you can do it however you like. Mm, a little bit more green. Just so that it just comes up into that sky give us some background trees have any of you ever watched Rob Ross <laughs> Rob Ross is actually the reason why I paint with acrylic pouring did you know that? <laughs> I know, weird, right? Um, I was watching Rob Ross just in the background while I did household chores and things like that. And uh, and just had it on autoplay. You know how YouTube does that autoplay thing? And I went out and I came back in and there was... The beautiful, amazing um, acrylic pouring, staring back at me from the screen. Um, and I was like, what is this? So that's how I discovered acrylic pouring. From a random autoplay by YouTube. How's it getting any better? Right, here we go. That is as much as I'm doing. Totally not very accurate, not very exciting. Not very long. <laughs> but not bad. From a distance. Anyway, could do with a lot more layers, but not happening today. Because this is not the target of this painting. So, it's, woohoo, that was for no reason at all other than cool effect. How's it get any better than that? All right. What vessel would like to come and play with me today? 
I know that my tins are too small for the size of this painting. Uh, as a whole, there's a tree in my life. And I watch it go through a cycle. There's a tree in my life. And I love to see it go through its cycles. Okay. Anyway. That was fun, pricky, and cool. Now, there is a tree in my life. And this is not the background it lives on. But, um... It's the inspiration for this painting. Um, and ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba. it's kind of a bit wonky. So I don't know whether it will end up looking like it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in a bit of green as my base. Um, Normally I would start with white, but I don't want white in this painting. So, because I don't want that pinky yuck color that would get created from putting orange. Now this orange is made, it's homemade. It's made from lemon yellow and crimson red. So, there you go. Um, and this is copper. And then there's some gold. And I just realized I don't think there is silicon in any of this, which... I'm not particularly excited about. Uh, let's do this. One, two, three. Eek! Who knows what that's going to create. Okay. Um, so, copper, gold... Homemade orange. This is deep yellow. Uh, pour some of that in there. I was thinking of putting some lemon yellow in there, but I don't know now. Um, I am going to put some burnt sienna in though. Just because I can. Just check how runny that is. Yes. Can you see? And mm -mm 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 -mm. what other colours should I put in there, guys? Anything else? Do I need more? Yes, I need more. So I'm gonna put some more orange. Some more copper, some more gold, just from up top, mix some of this away around, some more yellow, and just to break it a little bit more, a couple of splotches of green. Okay, so... Where are we? Let's tilt you around so you can see the side of my cup. This is a peanut butter jar. And it is 375 grams weight. So I have no idea what the quantity in it is. But I do know that it's a lot more than one of my tins. So, uh... No, can I get it? 
Oh, all right. Make some room. Beauty coming through. <laughs> I'm having fun. How about you? Oops, that's the burnt sienna one. Putting lids on, guys. So, letting that settle just for a minute or two, seconds or two, just to let it all run down. And then... Wow. That's pretty cool. Lots of brown, yellow, copper, bit of green still in there, you know, just as the season's turning and the um, trees are starting to lose some of their colour. Some of them are really brown. Some of them still got some green going on. What's magic got to do with it? A lot. You being you is magic. Okay. I really want to lose all those cells by tilting too much. I go quiet when I'm concentrating, sorry. Popping some bubbles. Seeing if we can get some more leaf looking action going on. Just gonna pour that off the side. Dragging the other stuff behind it. So I've decided I don't like the colour of the <laughs> go 
grass in the sky gone right off it in fact and I don't have enough paint so I'm going to mix some more we can do that can't we you know what hasn't really showing up is this orange although it's probably mixed in with this copper Give it a bit of a swirl. What can you see? I put the yellow and the green together and they have gone so vibrant it's kind of not really what I was after maybe I did want some more brown maybe that's the color that's tying it all together Okay, now, one of these days I'm going to learn and I'm going to have more paint than I need. <laughs> That's a bit of an ongoing thing for me, if you watch my channel, you'll know that I tend to do this quite a lot, and that is not put enough paint on. That's okay. I want to pull this down quite a bit on this side just to try and get some of that vibrant, see that vibrantness. It's shifting it a bit. So I've got a nice little streak of yellow through there, which I'd really like to go away. There we go. Yep. Awesome. Okay.
So, rinse off the hands. having a look at this and having a look at the way the colors have settled um, still want to pull some more of that yellow off but it's not going to shift. So, all right. Do your funky thing. So the next step. Next. Uh, is to get one of my bent tins. And, um, I'm going to put a combination, this is, what's that stuff called, Payne's Grey, that's the one, and this is Burnt Sienna, which we already have some of in the painting. Um, do, 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 do. Is it a drip of water? Ah! Not coal. Now it's water based paint. It won't cause a huge problem, but it will create a weird thing going on. Now. What I'm going to do, kind of vaguely mix these together. And now, And then, bum, 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 what am I looking for? What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Uh, trip up, -pum, trip up, -pum. trip up, -pum, yeah. So it doesn't look like the tree. <laughs> now what I'm using here is just the broken points of the stick. Just dragging it through, creating that motley tree-like thing going on.
Do, 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 do. I'm just having a play guys, just pulling, pulling, pulling. The tree that I'm referring to is nothing like this. <laughs> but I do love it. Right, where's my torch? Let's see what the torch reveals. See if there's enough silicon in there to do anything. This is the pot that I did the flip out of. And now, bum bum bum. Da, 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 da. Can you tell I'm having fun just playing? Are you willing just to keep playing with no point of view whether it turns out phenomenal or not? I'm just gonna help her come out. One big blob there. Just want a bit more green in that bit there. And in that bit there. And then What's that look like to you guys? Pretty hideous? <laughs> it does to me too. How's it get any better? Um, it, to me, it actually looks like a hideous mess, to be really honest. Let me turn it around for you so that you can see what I'm seeing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go like this. That's pretty. It's got lots of sparkles in it because... Oh. Zoom me out again. Jump. Jump. See how much of it I can get back into the pot. Dum bum bum. Playing, guys, playing. What if it didn't have to be perfect? 
what is perf a perfect art piece anyway Uh, silicon, where'd that go? Over there. One, oop, oh, way too much. we go till time you know what some of my best pieces are created when I scrape it off and tip it back on the canvas are you willing to be that out of control out of control out of definition out of form structure or significance what if no art piece was significant. What if nothing had to be perfect? I'm sure if you do, <laughs> if you've had done any acrylic pouring, you'll know that it's impossible to be perfect with this art form. Hands are getting grubby, and I love it. need to the edge there we go and down 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 to the depths I have got a big lump in this painting I need to fish it out my paint is moving now and I don't want to stop. Come on. You can do it. Glorious mess. With hidden beauty. Reach the edge. Yes. Just tap it down a little bit. Here you go. When I'm trying not to make something. A 
I get something quite pretty. I'm going to rinse my hands and then I'm going to finish fish that out. Yeah, I told you there's a lump of something in there. A lump of something quite solid. Okay. Let's torch it again. I'm going to use the big torch this time because I can. You can see some silicon coming up over here. Got more lumps in there that need to come out <laughs> this is gonna dry really dark because that's the way it is it's dark colors but there is enough gold and copper in there to create some real pretty highlights Oh, changed my angle and now I can't see them. Boo, 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 boo. That's so pretty. Oh, there's so much sparkle. I like sparkle. Just turning it around so that I can really get a sense of this side, which I'm really glad I did because there was a big patch of green that looked brushed. No, weird, eh? I've poured so much paint all over this, you'd think there wouldn't be any sign of those brush marks left. Okay. Am I happy with this is my next question. I'm really liking this through here. But what it needs. It's a little love heart. see any orange in there because <laughs> I can't um.
Do, 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 do. Mickey Power. really didn't work. Puha and pork bones is all I can say to that. You outsiders non-kiwis are going what is she talking about puha and pork bones oh well puha is the maori name for a um what many people consider a weed but it's quite delicious if cooked correctly There we go, it's better. Love hearts singing to me. Doesn't look like a tree at all. What do you reckon? <laughs> but it is certainly autumn colours. So there we go. There's my autumn. I had this magical idea in my head and as per usual, when I try to create something specific when it comes to acrylic pouring, it doesn't turn out the way I want it to. But that's okay. I'm happy with that. And I'm wondering who would like to own this? Who would like to have this in their home? Contributing to their lives. Alright, let me get you down and show you it close up. Okay, I apologise for the light reflecting. It's getting dark outside. One of my favourite pieces in this painting. Oh, let's see. Is this bit through here so organic so yummy and then we get into this part over here which it's got its own little thing going on there's not actually that many cells that's okay and my love hearts there's some cells in here Not everything has to have cells to be beautiful, guys. It's acrylic pouring, not acrylic selling. <laughs> so you can see by this that how much glittery goodness is in this painting. Super excited to see how it dries. I'm hoping the sun comes out in time to glitter, glitter and, glint and glitter across its surface. So you guys can get to experience it all in its shining glory. Anyway, that's it from me tonight. But stay around because in your time, there'll be a dry reveal. Yay! <laughs> all right, guys, I will see you in three, two, one. All right, so here it is. And I bought it outside to capture the evening light. <laughs> um, it is very, very cool. It's got lots of little shimmery bits. I'm not 100% sure it's completely dry. Um, it has been three days though. So, 
I kind of couldn't leave it any longer but I love it <laughs> my happy accidents seem to be happening regularly how does it get any better than this but it's loving loving the autumn colors loving the browns loving the sparkle of the copper and the gold and then the brightness of the green check this out that is that is green that is bright bright green look at that that grass green is amazing i love it <laughs> oh which is funny because i don't love green don't love brown but i do like this painting i do like it a lot it's lots of fun and i had lots of fun painting it so how does it get any better than that what if all of life comes to you with ease and joy and glory would you be willing to ask for that every day all of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory all of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory now remembering that's all of life not just the good stuff what if even the stuff that normally would be judged as bad terrible awful and wrong you could have ease with you could find the joy in it could create some magic even if that is going on around you I adore you all come join us on acrylic pouring for fun for the challenges of each month and the camaraderie and the contribution we will be to each other and what else is possible I adore you all and I'll see you in the next video bye bye